Hello everybody, my name is Gattis Kandis and you might have seen this on the internet. So this is a regular triangle, like a perfect triangle where all three sides are equal lengths, uh, therefore also all the angles are the same, 60 degrees each. And then there are two quadrilaterals inside. And so they say that this angle here is 70 degrees. And the question is, how big is this angle? And so I looked at it and I was thinking, well, there must be a simple solution, but I quite don't know what the simple solution is. So therefore I took my time and I was thinking long and hard. And then it turns out there's actually very simple solutions. So I'm going to show you exactly how to calculate that. Okay, so you probably noticed that this shape here has one, two, three, four, five corners and also one, two, three, four, five sides. Therefore, it is actually called pentagon. It's not regular pentagon, as you can see, it is like, you know, having a weird shape. Not, nonetheless, it is still a pentagon. And all the pentagons have uh, the same amount of uh, degrees, the total sum. Let me show you what I mean. So let's say if we have a triangle, always the sum of all the angles is going to be 180 degrees. If we have a rectangle, always the sum of all the angles is going to be 360 degrees. That's right, 360. So now if we have a pentagon, we have pentagon, maybe something like that. Always the sum of all the angles is going to be 540 degrees. You might wonder how I got this. Very simple. You can actually divide pentagon in the three triangles like so. And so now, as you know, like each triangle has 180 degrees total sum. So now if you uh, add all of those angles together, then you're going to get uh, 500. 540 degrees. So this is all we needed to know. 500 degrees. And the same 500 degrees is also inside this pentagon. So now, because we know this angle is 60 degrees, you know, the equilateral triangle. So that's already given 70. So this is going to be 90 degrees because, you know, this uh, the square is like resting. So that's 90 degrees. And then this angle here, is going to be 270 degrees. So now it's very simple. All we got to do is uh, take 500 degrees and subtract 70, 60, 90 and 270 degrees. And the answer is, if you use a calculator or if you do it in your head, you will know the answer is 50 degrees. So I'm going to write down 50 degrees. So this is actually 50 degrees. And yeah, that's it. That's how very simple it is, you know. As I said, like first I looked at it, I was like, hmm, I don't know. And then now, as I showed you, it's actually very simple to figure out. Thank you so much for watching and I will speak to you soon.